Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another movie review. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the movie Wicked Little Letters. You can find this movie on Netflix. It was released on September 9th, 2023. It is a dark comedy mystery movie that has a 7 out of 10 on IMDb, an 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. It had a $12.6 million budget and made $26.7 million at the box office. The movie was directed by Thea Chirac and stars Olivia Coleman, Jesse Buckley, and Eileen Atkin. And this is based on a true scandal uh, from the 1920s. And... It is about uh, residents of a uh, small little community who start to receive letters that have hilarious profanities, foul mouth, um, just crazy, crazy language in these letters. And then you have Foul Mouth Rose, who is charged with the crime, but the townspeople believe that there's someone else writing these letters. And a female police officer um, leaves the charge in proving Rose's innocence. Uh, because even though she is foul mouthed and she does do what she does, um, she's not the type of person that would write a letter. She would just say it to your face. And so, uh, yeah, this, this movie. Uh, Jesse Buckley, I love her character of Rose. Uh, and Mabel and Edith, all great characters. I absolutely loved this movie. This was freaking fantastic. And for this to be an actual scandal, I mean, I could, I could imagine what it was like back in the 1920s. But yeah, this would definitely be the talk of the town. And for for her to be charged without them even really investigating, that, that's kind of crazy. But uh, other than that, this was a fantastic movie. I love the ending. <laughs> uh, it was very satisfying. And I, again, I love the characters, uh, especially Rose, Edith, and Mabel. And this was just a lot of fun. So in the comment section below, if you've seen it, give me your thoughts and opinions. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification button. A 10 out of 10 and two thumbs up. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.